Hey! Keiichi? Is he calling someone? Huh? What the hell are you thinking? I can't do it! $10,000, that's ridiculous! But sir, I won't be able to make ends meet! No, it's not gonna be okay! I can't do it, I'm telling you now! Wait, he hung up? Damn it! Hey, who was that? Oh, you were listening, huh? $10,000? That has to be a joke, right? Well, apparently not. My boss told me that just now. That's ridiculous, right? What do you think? I agree. It's absolutely absurd. You need to demand him to change his plans now. Yeah, you're right. You think so too, huh? But I right, I'll talk to him tomorrow. And if it doesn't end up changing... If it doesn't end up changing, what you... No, it's nothing. My name is Keiichi and I'm 28. Akane is my fiance, who I just proposed to her and I was at the height of my happiness, but uh, that's when I got a call from my boss. I know he's my boss, but this is a ridiculous demand. The next day... Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, hey, Mikawa! Perfect timing! Let's play reverse together! No, thanks. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you about what you told me yesterday. I can't do it. What? Why not? I obviously can't. What were you thinking? $10,000? That's just absurd. It's definitely possible. I know you can do it. No, I can't. It's just not possible. But you're the Phantom of the Opera, aren't you? You'll be able to do it. It's a piece of cake for you. What are you talking about? No, I'm not the Phantom of the Opera. I just used to be in the opera club in school. And for the millionth time, my name is Keiji, not Mikawa. Sure. Why do I feel like you're gonna call me Mikawa again? But anyway, it's already been decided. But what about my livelihood, sir? Hey, Leon, I'm coming in. Huh? Why are you here, Mamoru? Well, you caught me here, didn't you? Do you want to play reverse with me? Oh, is that so? Sorry, I just forgot about him. Oh my god. Hey, I finished my work early for this, you know. Well, sorry about that, but I promised Mikawa that I'll play with him. No, well, you didn't. Let's just play with all three of us. And how are we going to do that? Reverse is a two-player game. Well, Mikawa can be the white chips and you can be the black ones. And what are you going to be? Me? Well, I'll be the off-white ones. That's not even an option in reverse. What? Mr. Miyasako was talking about it on TV, though. How is that relevant to any of this? Oh, yeah, Mr. Mamoru. You have to hear me out. Huh? What is it, Keiji? Mamoru is a vice president, but he's way more sensible than Leon. He'll probably listen to me and change the plans. Wait, did you want to talk about that project? Yes, that's exactly what I'm here for. Could you help me out here? Tell your brother that this plan is absurd. $10,000 is ridiculous. Well, you should be fine. You're capable of surviving this. You're right. But wait, what the hell? What are you talking about, sir? It isn't fine. It is, though. I'm sure of it. And you'll be transferred to another department. Huh? Transferred to another department? Wait, my brother didn't tell you about this? No, not at all. Leon... Let's forget about all this and just play reverse, guys. Hey, we have to talk about the situation first. Fine, such a drag. Let's talk about it. I'm so sorry about him, KG. No, don't apologize. And so we talked for about an hour, and I eventually made my way home. Well, Buck. Oh, you're home? So what happened with the $10,000 situation? Uh, I tried fighting back, but they wouldn't budge. Yeah, I knew that was going to be the case. That's basically your worth now, I guess. Well, I'm going to get transferred over to... But wait, what are you doing? I'm packing my bags. I knew you weren't going to be able to change your boss's mind, so I was packing my bags. All right, that's everything. See you later. Well, wait, where are you going? Huh? I'm going to my boyfriend's place. Y your boyfriend? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm sick and tired of you. I'm gonna leave you now. I should have gotten married with my other boyfriend from the first place. But luckily, we never handed in the marriage form, so technically we're not married yet. 
I married you because you said you worked for a big company, but I can't believe this is how it ends. I'm gonna pay you financial compensation for this later, but goodbye, have a good life. What the hell is this? What is this happening? Oh, I don't understand. I just got home and now my fiance is gone and she was cheating on me all along. I didn't even realize. But now that I think about it, when I introduced my fiance to me boss, he told her that he wouldn't forgive her if she betrayed me. He's really good at judging people's characters, so maybe he knew all along that she was the person that would do something like this. I'm such a loser. I gave her card in my everything and she just betrayed me. I, I can't do this anymore. I don't even feel like getting up. The next day. Hey, it's me. Remember me? Sir? I was one that called you. Of course I know it's you, and of course I remember you. Anyway, I'm really sorry. But could I ask for a day off today? Ah, you're not coming to work today? Well, a lot has happened. I see. You don't have to worry about a thing. If you want, you can take a week-long break. We'll take care of everything at the office for you. Thank you so much. No worries. Feel better soon. You gave me a day off without even asking why. Oh, he's so nice. Well, that's Leon we're talking about. Who well, I'm sure he figured out what was going on just from the tone of my voice. Well, I didn't want to explain my situation to him, so I'm glad he didn't ask. The day I just sat there in the living room without doing anything all day. I guess I'll grab a drink and go to bed. Wait, we're out of alcohol? Oh, I've got to go buy some then. Don't worry. We brought drinks with us. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I was just about to go out and buy some. You want beer, right? We got whiskey too. And Calpis Sour! Ooh, I'll take the beer then. Can I have the Calpis Sour, Mamaru? Huh? Wait, something's not right. You're right, the label is different. Wait, these aren't the ones that Samomo gave to you, right? Huh? How could you tell? These are indeed the drinks that Samomo gave me. She called it God's Wine. Apparently, she named it because it tastes godly. How does a six-year-old know what alcoholic drink tastes like? And I doubt that thing tastes godly, Leon. You cannot drink that thing, all right? But I want to drink it! So Momo gave it to me! I have to drink it! <laughs> but wait, no, Leon! See? Nothing. This is what I'm talking about. It tastes godly, all right? Really? It smells weird, though. Smell it, Keiji. But what the hell? It smells terrible! Right? You're gonna regret this, Leon. I warned you. Well, wait a minute. Why are you guys even here? Wait, why? Because you wanted to drink with you. Right, Mamaru? That's right. But, but why did you even come in? Huh? I thought my brother texted you and asked you permission to come in. Well, I thought you texted him. No, I didn't. You just entered the building without any hesitation, so I thought you texted him. Sorry, Makawa. Mamoru's like this sometimes. How is this my fault? I'm sorry about this, Keiichi. No worries. I knew Liam was behind all these. All right, let's just drink, Keiichi. Here you go. Here's your beer. Wait, why are we drinking together, though? Don't worry about it. Just drink. Bottoms up, Keiichi. Sure. Momoru and Leon convinced me to drink, and we spent the night together. And the next thing we knew, the sun was up. Leon, let's go to work. Whoa, such a drag! Let's go! My head hurts. Me too, man. Are you guys all right? All right, see you tonight, Mikawa. Yeah, see ya. Well, wait, you're not thinking of coming here again, are you? But we still have drinks left over in the fridge. And so, Momoru and Leon started visiting me every night to drink with me. Well, I thought they were going to ask about why I was taking time off from work, but they never did. We're here! Hey, Leon, Momoru. You guys don't have to come here every day, you know. You guys shouldn't have the time to be here after work. You guys are busy, and I'm not even that important. Oh, come on, we're here because we want to be here. Leon's right, we want to be here. 
But you already know what happened, right? That's what you hear every day. Mm, about what? That I got cheated on and was thrown away by my fiance. Well, I haven't told anyone yet, and you guys already know. <laughs> you guys are incredible. So that's what happened. Well, I thought you guys knew. No, we didn't. Not at all. Then why did you... Well, when I called you two nights ago, I felt like you were going to disappear if we didn't come to see you. And because Leon felt that way, we we're here to keep you company every day. Oh, I see. I can't believe he figured that out just by listening to me voice. I was really thinking about ending it all that day. I was stupid, but if they didn't come here that day, I might have actually done it. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now, let's get back to drinking. And so, I told them everything that had happened in the past week. They were super bad at her. And even told me that they would make sure that they would never be able to live comfortably again, but, uh... I stopped them from actually doing something out of light. But I could tell that they really cared about me. I've still got people like them that care about me, so I can't die yet. And from the next day, I returned to the office. I worked extra hard from that day on, because I had nothing distracting me from work. And a year passed since then. Uh, I'm getting a call from Leon. Hello? Wait, what? You're kidding me, right? I can't do it. No, I can't. It's just out of nowhere. You can't send me there out of the blue. Hey, sir. Sir? He hung up, didn't he? Ah! <laughs> Are you going to get sent abroad now or something? Huh? A card, eh? Hey, a long time no see. You haven't changed a bit. Who's this? He's my ex-fiance. Oh, that loser that works for the Ugamori Group, right? That's right. The loser that works in the least useful department the Ugamori Group. I'm so glad I got married with you instead, Akito. The least useful department in the Ugamori Group? That's right. You said that you got transferred over before we split, and you also said that your pay was downgraded to $10,000. A $10,000 is just hilarious. I'm sure there are homeless people that make more than that in a year. $10,000 a year? What are you talking about? Oh, wait. Let me guess. Now it's even lower, isn't it? I was talking about the rent when I said $10,000 a day. R rent? Yeah, my boss told me that they prepared a house as a $10,000 rent for me, and they told me to move in there. When I asked them about it, they said that they were going to pay for most of it, and that when I was getting promoted to area manager. They prepared the house for me to celebrate my promotion. Wait, you're kidding me, right? Then how much are you making in a year? About $300,000, I guess. $300,000? That's ten times as much as Akito makes. Wait, but you're getting sent to some rural area, right? Y you're right. Being sent to a rural area? Oh, so you were listening on my vocal, huh? No, I'm not being sent to some rural area. They offered me the position of CEO in a new branch that they're starting abroad. Th the CEO? Wait, so you're going to be making even more? Well, I guess so. I don't really need the body, though. All right, I've got to go. Wait a minute, Keiichi. Uh, what is it? D do you want to get back together? Huh? What the hell, Akane? You're already married to me. You're one-tenth of what Keiichi's worth. You're useless. Keiichi, I know now how important you are to me. You're my number one, Keiichi. Please, I love you. I'll get a divorce with this loser, so please get back together with me. Well, I know a lot more about you now, too. And you know what? Well, I'm glad I didn't marry you. I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. W what are you talking about? Hey, wait, please don't go. Keiichi. Damn it, why would he ignore me? Whatever, I guess I'll just settle for Akito. Wait, where is he? Akito? Akito? Going abroad, huh? I didn't want to live abroad for a few years, and I feel like I've mentioned that to Leo before. Well, I bet he remembered that conversation and offered this position to me because of it. You know what? Let's try it out. I don't want to regret not doing it. Meanwhile, Akane was going through this. Akito demanded that they get a divorce. But Akane refused. They went to court over the matter. 
They ended up getting a divorce, but uh, Akane kept on stalking her ex-husband, and he ended up going mentally insane from stress. Akane ended up being arrested. She deserves it. I'm home. Well, no one's here, but... Welcome home. I was waiting for you. Huh? How now did you get in here? I made a spare key, but I want to be with you instead of Akito. So let's get married. No way! You have to leave! Well, I'm gonna call the police! Oh, so you're calling the cops on me too, huh? Then I guess we'll just have to die together! Is that a knife? Is that a knife? Stop, don't do this! Uh, let's all just calm down! Okay, then can we get married? But no, I'm not gonna get... I see how it is. Then we'll just have to die together! But don't come near me, please! Huh? Ow! My stomach hurts. Huh? Why is this happening? Wait, did you drink that cow piss sour? Y yes, I did. Why aren't you asking? That thing is expired. If anyone besides Leon drinks it, they end up falling ill. You have to be kidding me. Please call an ambulance. Oh, yeah, sure. And so Akane was transported to the hospital by an ambulance. What is even in that Kelpie sour? And how was Leon fine when he drinks it? Ooh, I'm too scared to even ask. Sir, I'll go abroad and oversee your new project. I knew you'd say that, Mikawa. Good luck, Keiichi. We're counting on you. Yes, sir! Thank you so much for this opportunity, guys. I, I'm really happy right now. And it's all thanks to you guys! What are you talking about, Mokawa? We're happy because of you too! Yeah, he's right. So I guess we're equal. Leon, Momoru. The only reason I'm here today is because of these two. If they didn't help me get my stuff straight, I wouldn't be here today. I was going crazy because of what had happened between my fiancé and me. But I can't thank these two enough for what they did. I'm going to grow this company abroad and pay them back for what they did for me. All right, let's do this! Hey, Makawa, let's have a toast. Yep, to your success in America. And to your continued success here. Cheers! Huh? What the? Wait, is this? It's kelp is sour! I had them prepare it because we have to drink the gods' drink when we celebrate something. Why the hell would you make us drink this? My stomach hurts. Don't worry! You just have to get over that and you'll be invincible! And you only took a sip, so you'll be fine. Still, how could you do this to us? For the next few hours, we were stuck in the bathroom. Oh, crap. Wait, you two? Yeah, I think I know what Leon was talking about now. So, this is what it feels like to be invincible, huh? 